everybody, I'm Madeline Iyer and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to make almond milk. You know, nut milks are a wonderful substitute for dairy products and they are much better tolerated by your system and they taste really wonderful. So today we'll do just a basic almond milk and I have here a cup of almonds that I have soaked overnight in some purified water and they've been rinsed and drained and, and we soak them because it sprouts them and it releases the enzyme inhibitor making them much more nutritious. We can access all the enzymes that way. So I'm going to take this cup and they've plumped up slightly. I don't know if you can notice that here. They're a little bit chunkier than prior to soaking. So use good water. Anyway, I will place these almonds into this blender here. It's a high speed blender. And you can use anywhere between two and four cups of water, depending on your preference. We generally use four cups of water. Secure the lid firmly and let her rip. seems to be pretty well blended. Now the next step is we have to strain the mixture. This is called a nut milk bag. Actually this one is a produce bag and they're a little bit cheaper than the nut milk bags. This was about three or four dollars and the nut milk bags will cost you ten online so if you can get one of these and just take a look at it, it's really a fine mesh. Um, some of the produce bags you find do have a thicker weave to them. You want something that's a really tight weave, almost like a pantyhose actually, which you could use a stocking, be sure it's clean. And so then we put the nut milk bag around a container. This is just a BPA free plastic container. Pour the milk through, and you can just see that nice creamy consistency there. All right. Next thing, you have to gently squeeze it. So I'm going to put on my gloves here. Gently lift off the nut milk bag and ever so gently, you're not milking a cow, so it's just gentle because this will come back at you, it will squirt you if you get too aggressive with it. So just gently squeeze it. You can make this with cashews or macadamia nuts or really whatever suits your fancy. Almond is just so versatile, you know, it's a pretty neutral flavor, so it's very popular. Plus, almonds are botanically a fruit and they're alkaline, which is a helpful thing for the body. Most, most people are very acidic, which promotes illness. That seems to be pretty well strained. Next thing we're going to do is pour it into our pitcher here. And we 
we are all ready for breakfast tomorrow morning. Pop this in the fridge, chill it. Now, we like our milk plain because we're using it on granola, which has some dates in it and it already has a bit of sweetness. But if you wanted to get creative, you can add a little agave syrup to sweeten it. Again, to suit your taste, start with a teaspoon, work your way up. Uh, some pure vanilla extract or some dates. And these dates have been pitted. If you buy the dates that have been pre-pitted, they're machine pitted, so know that you probably should check them before you use them. They will jam your blender blade. And now one more thing I'd like to mention to you. We have all of this wonderful almond pulp left over here. And do save it. You can dry it out if you have a dehydrator and turn it into almond flour if you like. See that? You can make your own body scrub out of it once it's dried. You can just use it in other recipes. It's it, crackers. It makes a nice almond flour to, to put in some flax crackers. Many, many uses for it. So save it. Now, if you put it in the fridge, you know, it won't keep all that long. So if you're not going to use it right away and you're not going to dehydrate it, just put it in the freezer in a plastic bag and it'll keep quite a bit longer. That's it for the almond milk. It's, it's just a wonderful, wonderful substitute for dairy and we love it. And you will too. Enjoy!